Young Jock's daughter puts on all of his clothes. What's good with it, y'all? What's happening? Happy Saturday. Sunday, what it do? Hey, look, man, I'm just reaching out to y'all to say what's up, man. You know, I ain't got to say it, but I'm going to say it. 2020 has been one hell of a year. Uh, um, Eric drinks tequila, you need an Uber. Well, then you need to call Uber if you need an Uber. But now if you need pull up and go, you need to lock, download pull up and go. Ride, shut up. Huh? I'm going to let you drive your car, so I'm going to drive that car. I don't feel comfortable driving your car. Hey, y'all. I'm being fat, eating the Hawaiian roll. But that's what that is. Mm-hmm. I ain't know what the hell you was eating on your <laughs> face. <laughs> um, you gonna get that from it off? Yeah. Please, I need it. Go right now. Thank you so much. You're all kinds of wonderful. Thanks. Uh, you said, what is that noise? Uh, that's the sound of me spending money. Come say what's up on my live, Pooh. I'm sorry, I'm alive. Say what's up. Lord, so was I ain't fool. <laughs> Cabby, what up, my boy? Huh? What's up? I said Big Jock. Yeah, Big J-O-C, you know what I'm saying? That's what they call your daddy. Big J-O-C. Hold on, Sean. Don't just be taking my phone. What you doing? But, yeah. Uh, whether Roy win, whether Tyson win, it don't matter, man. Who I'm going for, Creole Kisses? Um... Uh, Man, at the end of the day, made the best man win. You know, I was once a, uh, I was once a fan of. Well, I ain't gonna say once. I was a fan of Roy. I was a fan of Tyson. Um, of course, Tyson being who he was. I mean, who don't know Tyson? Um, he was one of the most aggressive fighters, one of the most progressive fighters in his weight division. Um, as far as Roy Jones, he had gotten good, but he wanted a bigger bag. So, I think like once he transitioned from middleweight. To heavyweight, he wasn't, you know, he wasn't set up to box in that weight. Just who he, who he had been. So I felt like, what's up, uh, Dirty? Come clean entertainment. You know what to do, man. Um, so what I'm going to say is, is, is really, 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 really simple. Um, you know, they both were great in their primes. And I think they're great for stepping back into the ring and doing this at 50 plus years old. Now I am a little skeptical due to their age, but they built for it, you know? They built for it. So we're gonna see how it go. It don't matter who win. I mean, if anybody wanna, you know, place a wager, girl, what you doing? You don't put my wild and out shirt on. Let me see, let me see my shirt. Let me let them see your shirt. Let me see the shirt. Huh? <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Like I said, man, if y'all need any advice on anything like that, I'm not the most successful, nor am I the most smartest person. Chibis, you know we got that fight going up tonight. It's gonna be crazy. But what I am is real. I'm real. Period. Point blank. I'm real. I don't switch up. 
I don't switch up. That was another thing that made me fall out of love with the music business. Rappers. So crazy. One minute, they your partners. Las Vegas, big stepper. That's my boy right there. Shouts out to Las Vegas, man. He, um, I got to um, post my boy. Okay. Las Vegas, man. This man was uh, vital in my success. Las Vegas produced uh, Hear Me Coming and First Time. Marcus used to trade songs. It ain't nothing like the first time. I'm trying to tell you I can blow your mind. Baby, if you me here and me there. My daughter over here trying to mouth the word. You don't know the word, girl. But uh, shouts out to my boy. What I was saying is, man, cats be switching up, man. I, I never understood that. I'm solid. I know what it's like to be on. I know what it's like to be off. I know what it's like to be in between. You know what I'm saying? I stay the same. Because a lot of times you'll see cats, like when you up, you ain't even got to be no rapper. It's regular life. When you up, oh, man, everybody loving you. Oh, they can't stay away. They got to rock with you. Why you, why you know you my, what's up, twin? You know you my partner. I, I got to rock with you, boy. Why you know I'm on the way, twin? All that. Cool, yeah, okay. The minute you ain't popping, ain't twin no more. The minute you ain't popping, nobody hitting your phone no more. The minute you're not popping, they got a problem with you at the door or the club. What's up, hands? That's the other one. This one knocked out. That one right now. Daddy, can you send messages? Huh? Can you send messages on here? What you want to send? You want to send a message? You want to comment? What you yeah. want to say? Yeah. Man, I can't believe I only got these dang on blind. Oh, wow. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I send that. You look from that window, look to the shower. From, from where you stand, look, look, look to the shower. Oh, wow. Yeah, so when you get out. You, you just hoping yeah. ain't nobody watching. No. I mean, luckily, I got enough acreage where ain't nobody around can see me. Yeah. No. Phone, right? <laughs> she done. What you put on here? What you type? What you type, girl? I don't know. Hey, I just did a good right now. What that mean? <laughs> What's did a good? What you trying to say? Huh? Chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Um, there are only a couple problems. Okay. The one, the only blind that was destroyed to where I couldn't install it for you is the one in the breakfast. You'll see it when you walk in. I did, I left the one by the bar blank. Like next to the uh, back door. Mm -hmm. I left that one blank, unless you want me to switch it out with a different one. I left that one blank, so that way when you walk in your front door, you'll see the three on this wall. Mm -hmm. It's all there, you know what I'm saying? So it's just one? Okay. That's one, and then they're upstairs in the loft area. Mm -hmm. um, they missing two brackets, two installation brackets. But the doors are on there, right? I put the doors on, yeah, so the front of your house is, is um, uniform. And the garage good. Yeah, the garage is good, yeah. And then other than that, after those three things, then the other three things that are wrong was just there's a couple of wands that got snapped in half from the boxes being crushed. These little wands. Okay, so uh, I, can, I can order them. All of them are up. Yeah, all the wands are up, but I'm going to ask for some. I think you need like three extra is what it is. The wands? Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, my daddy called that the magic wand. <laughs> oh, yeah, he hit us with that one time. It was magical. Let's get you straight. I'm from North Florida, so we got beat with everything. <laughs> everything. <laughs> right. 
You say, talk about business. What you want to know, man? One thing I learned in business, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to keep it real, real simple. I'm going to tell you real simple. It's real easy. One thing about doing business, remember, give people what they want. It's gonna work. Slutty Vegan, what up, what up? Now that if you wanna know Slutty Vegan right there. That's who you want. You wanna know about some business? They tell you right there. They give you what you want. They're gonna give you what you want. It's really important because here's the key to life. People are always people always want what they want. And that's they don't necessarily want to give the people what they want, the consumer, the customer, the client. The clientele. You got to give people what they want. And a lot of times people don't know how to properly do that. Because they're so busy trying to get what they want. Remember that. You know, when a customer's happy, guess what they're going to go do? They're going to tell somebody else because they're not used to being... Everybody's not used to being treated properly. Say you talk too much. I talk too much, we'll go home. How about that? Go on, get on my live. Cause I don't get on live much and do this. So don't come back. Like my boy say, this free game right here. That's it. Like at the end of the day. Oh. Miss Kendra must be back. Well, that boy is you some real blind. This ain't a dog in here. You see, man, you got real. I ain't know I can get this dog in here. Yeah, you got real. I ain't even close that one. It's like nighttime here, I almost feel like. It got so dark. Mm hmm. It was bright. All right, you all done. Wow. Wow. She's going to be tripping when she walk in here. She, she just pulled up, so she ain't going to believe this dog. But again, man, like anything that I can I can help anybody with, man, feel free to ask me. Got a concept I did on, on a future record. Um, one of the future people sent me the record. And it seemed like I couldn't get the connection right to put it together. Thank you. I mean, thank you, Chris, but it's a good thing. What is it? It's wings and fries. I just got it was a wings spot beside the mm -hmm. smoke shop and I just got some food. But I fed her some noodles before I left. So I know she's not hungry. And the dog here. Yeah, I like it. I mean it's not supposed to look. She said she liked it, dog. Wouldn't I like one? And then Lala had it when she woke up. Yeah, no. Look at that <laughs> He's done. I know I wanna check throughout the house. I got it. She sleep on me right now. Eat it, bear. Yeah. You want your food? Yeah. Go in there and get it. <clears throat> Hell, la la. La la. Little pillow. Okay. Oh. Big stepper. Big weapons. No. Girl, you don't put my clothes on. Y'all look at this. This just don't make no sense. You better not put my clothes on. Charlotte, what is she doing? She done put the Margellas on. Hold on. She done put my jeans on. Charlotte, what is you doing? Stand up. Let me see this outfit you yeah. done put on. Mm-mm, stand up. Nah. Mm-mm. Let me see this. Stand up. You done put my clothes on. Let me see. Stand up, Eater Bear. No, how you gonna put my whole? What is? Well, baby, crazy. Thanks for tuning in to Newborn Arrival.